Trivia Night, a thoughtful treatise on the futility of life, but with like a fun party game twist. Need a mosquito, huh? I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. But enough of all that, let's play. Here's the first question. Following his death in 1822, Frankenstein author Mary Shelley carried around her dead husband's and answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, let's play a game. Welcome to the killing floor. I'm going to ask you a question. Your answer is very important. What's the sexiest musical instrument? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Now everyone gets to vote. Pick which of these answers you hate the most. The person who wrote the answer with the most votes will die. Pick the answer that makes you go, oh hell no. The votes are in. I'd ask if you had any last words, but I bet they'd also be terrible. Uh-oh, looks like somebody's a ghosty ghost, but don't go into the light just yet. Ghosts can still win. Here at Trivia Murder Party, we believe even the deceased should have a chance to succeed. Here's how everyone's doing so far, but also know that who you are as a person is just as important. I've got more questions for you. The 2008 recession hit me hard. Let's just say I had to foreclose on a couple of my torture chambers. It was rough. The Big Short was based off a book by which writer? Who picked this? The rest of you who are still alive, I have a surprise for you! Hey girl, welcome back to the killing floor. Let's play the finger cutting game. No one has to die in this one, unless you refuse to participate. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. It's real cut and dry. Get it? Commence cutting. Is it weird that I just love fingers? I guess anyone would say the same thing. Here's the scoreboard again. I feel like you're getting the basic pattern of the game now. Let's try this again. TV's Mr. Rogers was an ordained minister in what religion? <laughs> Who said this one? I want to show you something. Let's do a little memory test. Memorize the pattern. And done. Okay, we have a little bit of time to fill, so let me read you an excerpt from an interview Gary Sinise gave on the Tavis Smiley Show in 2011. His take on CSI New York. I have lots of friends who are wonderful actors. They like to be in my shoes, so I'm just gonna keep enjoying it. Okay, now back to the game. From left to right, what was the order of the colors? 
If you have the worst memory, you die. Don't forget. This was the pattern, you silly gooses. How did you do? It looks like you forgot what was at stake. Alright, next question. In what year was the Model T car first manufactured? Okay, okay, fine. We'll do some math. Now get off my back. Yeesh. Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. The person who does the worst dies. Math time. Let's go. Stop counting with your fingers. It's sad. You know how numbers work, right? Well, time's running out. Ah! Here it comes! Ah! But deep down, didn't you know one day math would kill you? I'm having so much fun right now. I'm gonna have to journal about this later. Let's try another one. Not a lot of people got Donnie Darko, but then again, not a lot of people are deep like me. What is the name of the scary looking rabbit who warns Jake Gyllenhaal about the end of the world in the movie Donnie Darko? Who said? This one? Prepare for your punishment. Look at that! A pile of money on the floor! I have got to get more organized about my finances! Take as much money as you want, but take the most money or the least money, and you'll be sorry. Snack some green, why don't you? <laughs> See how much money everybody shoved in their pockets. It's punishment time for the most and least greedy. Cash really shows our true colors, doesn't it? <laughs> how about this? If you're like me, this should be an easy one. Who won the 2015 Teen Choice Award for Best TV Kiss? And the correct answer is... This one. Let's play a game. We're going to play chalices. I've given each safe player a poison pellet. Pick a chalice to put your poison in. And it's your turn now. Pick a chalice to drink from. Um, confession. I haven't watched these chalices in a while, so I'm sorry if they taste kinda funky. Good stuff. 
Now let's see what everyone drank. This was inevitable. The poison touched your supple lips like a... Uh, uh, I have not finished that stanza yet. Alright, next question. Not to brag, but people say I'm the Brian Wilson of eating in bed. Which of the following is not one of the locations mentioned in the lyrics of the Beach Boys song, Kokomo? And the correct answer is... This. Prepare for your punishment. Well, I hope you know how to spell. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. I knew these magazine clippings would come in handy eventually. But the person with the shortest word will be punished. We've pretty much started, so don't dwaddle. By the way, the letters don't have to be touched. Ah! Don't forget to press submit when you're done. Ooh, let's see what you did there. Bad spelling is unacceptable. This was inevitable. The whittling down to just one player has finally come to fruition. Let's do this. Congrats on making it here alive. Now let's see if you can escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. The Jungle Book Animals. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting so close to the exit! Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. The ghosts are catching up. Rogers and Hammerstein musicals. Stay out of the shadows. Sharks. I get it. You did well. Good. Now escape before the others catch you. Triple Crown winners. Hurry up! Professional sports teams from New York State. Too easy. Another life swap. 
African nations. Hi! The party's downstairs. Come on in. 